The kingdom is looking to be a powerhouse in green energy, not least that of hydrogen, for example. Do, are you on track at this point? I have to say, you know, over the years and, and still, I find when I'm talking about the Saudi economy to people, that there is some scepticism still about how real that green transition is. So here's your opportunity to just uh, put it on the table. <laughs> we are very committed to it. We have been uh, warning the world for the last 40 years that uh, the world needs to find alternative sources of energy because mm -hmm. oil is finite and the production of oil is limited. Uh, but however, the world's uh, appetite for energy is unlimited and that uh, the additional increase of energy supplies have to come from non-oil resources. We've been saying this since the late 70s and early 1980s consistently. We were one of the first countries to experiment with solar energy when we established two towns running completely on solar more than 40 years ago. We are big investors in solar, big investors in wind, big investors in hydro hydrogen. Uh, we are committed to it because that's where the future is. We are big investors in high, high power transmission lines because we want to be able to connect our green energy mm. to markets in Europe and elsewhere. That's where the future is and it's extremely profitable and we, take, we intend to take full advantage of it. There will be no going around fossil fuels. Well, any way you slice it, fossil fuels will be around for many, many decades because the world needs fossil fuels because they're economical and the, 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 the important thing would be to be able to produce it efficiently, cleanly, uh, do whatever we can to make sure that uh, uh, it, we, it becomes a, a force for contributing to the environment. And we are against uh, providing unrealistic expectations to people. We are against having conversations based on emotions and grandstanding and trying to score political points. You know we that are... worries people when, when, when people hear what you say. But why, why would it worry them? Because I'm saying the truth. We are, mm. saying, we are saying we have a problem and the problem has to do with climate change. Mm. And we need to tackle this problem in a serious scientific manner. We need to, talk, to deal with it without emotions. We need to deal with it without trying to score political points. Mm. We need to be consistent. We can't be hypocritical. We can't be calling for reduction in uh, oil production on one hand, and when oil production is reduced, we rant and rave and we say, you're declaring war on the world economy, turn on the spigots. It doesn't work this way. We have to be consistent. So we're saying, let's produce it efficiently. Let's produce alternative sources of energy so that we can meet future demand growth for energy. Let's see what else we can do in terms of carbon capture. Let's uh, deal with uh, natural processes like greening and let's change attitudes, let's eliminate waste, let's eliminate uh, factors that can contribute, that contribute negatively to our climate and let's fix this problem. We have the science, we have the resources, we believe as a global community. What we need is the will and the determination to deal with this issue in a practical, realistic, non-emotional, non-hypocritical manner.